Stuart here in Corin and Megan. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, you too. Um, how would you describe Edmonton to a complete stranger? To me, for example. It is the... I don't know if it's just in Canada, probably just in Canada, but the northernmost, the biggest city that is the furthest north. It's like a million people. It's not that big, but it's the I furthest think it will north. in the world. In the world. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the highest latitude north with the most people. And it's uh, really nice in the summer. Very There's cold in the winter. <laughs> really cold in the winter. Yeah. Um, it's a little bit sparse. Um, lots of farming and oil things stuff are very, going Things on. are very spread out. <laughs> you, have to, you spend a lot of time on the bus <laughs> to get anywhere. <laughs> yeah, or, or in your car. Yeah. Um, not a lot of biking, like Amsterdam, which is lovely. And yeah, do you, do you mean, do you want like a different sort of context as yeah, to describe yeah, the city? Nice. Okay. So living yeah. indoors, mostly. Then. Yeah. With the long except, winters. Except yeah. in the summer. It's inside so in the a lot. In the summer, everyone goes outside because they're so fed up of being Tons of locked up in their houses all winter. Tons of hibernating. Yeah. Though. It's Lots really nice in the summer. But yeah. um, there isn't, a, like, I would say everything, by comparison, everything that makes Amsterdam nice is n the exact opposite of Edmonton. <laughs> 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 Everything is new. Yeah. You you both moved out. You we did. You got yes. away. Yeah. How, yes. How often are you there now? Uh, I haven't I haven't been there in about a year since I left. I haven't I moved back just because I moved so far away. But I've been back a couple of times. My yeah. whole family is still there. Yeah. So but I the come back. the music scene in Edmonton is really is really nice. Like that's pr the best thing about Edmonton is like is it's like creative art scene. Like, it's really good. Because there isn't a whole lot of other things to do, so every everyone who's making things kind of it's a tight community. Everyone knows each other and and are it's really nice. like making really interesting like art and music. Yeah, there's some good stuff going yeah. on. Yeah, re regarding that, sense. of which places do you have the the fondest memories? In Edmonton. Yeah. Home <laughs> and the cabin. <laughs> we have a cabin. I, I would say like uh, like local shows like. The ch there's like <laughs> shows that happen in in basements right. and right. like in like little halls and stuff yeah. where there might be small scale things. Yeah, like like a hundred pe hundred and fifty people jammed into a basement that fits. Uh. Yeah, there've been there've been a, a number of really fantastic shows, like some of the best yeah. I've ever been to in like basements. Very, yeah, very basement. very high energy, exciting shows. Very, uh, there's a lot of people crammed into a space that is way too small for, <laughs> for them. Yeah. With uh, Study things. Yeah. W and with everyone being very excited. Yeah. But Lo lots of uh, crowd surfing <laughs> and <laughs> things like that. And but sweat. Are there particular but places everyone goes to once a week or once a month? I think it's changed a lot it, since yeah. we left. But when we were it there, our friend, we had a friend, two friends who lived in a house they called Castle Awesome. And there were a lot of shows in their basement where the yeah, where the walls were sweating. Usually, like a couple times <laughs> a month, amazing. they would they would yep. put shows on in their basement, and, it, and those are like that's where everyone would go. Yeah, because there is there aren't many actual like venues, so uh, people kind of have to like turn alternative spaces <laughs> into into their own venues where they can do stuff, and it's usually like basements and things like that. Yeah. With the city being so big, is the music scene still a, a sort of tight knit community, or is it all spread out? For the most part, there's like yeah. there's like a couple different I think circles of music going on. Yeah. Because there's like a music a music college and that I don't think we've ever really been affiliated with.